Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of 9 Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, so we are about ready to do Horde Night 91. Uh, but I have spent uh, the last uh, in-game day, all day today, and the rest of yesterday, I think it was, um, going out and mining some oil shale. We got some oil shale mined, a little more iron, and then I did a whole mess of salvaging as well. And then I got back to the base around noonish or so uh, today and decided, well, I'm going to get started on, on the wall. At, you know, at least get started on it and then finish it up later. So basically my plan for the this wall is that I've put, uh, I put the corner pieces in here, uh, as you can see. And then the rest of it, I think, is going to just be bars because that way we can very easily shoot through the bars to kill uh, the Zombadoodles. And so... And I might even make these bars uh, the scaffolds, so, so that way we can also, yeah, if we if we make these, well, no, that's not going to work. Just looking at something here. Yeah, no, we better not do that. Um, we could, we'll put, uh, we'll put some ladders in at. Uh, you know, at different intervals just so we can get in and out of it and not have to run all the way around to the gate kind of thing. But I don't want to actually make the bars themselves ladders because, of course, the zombies themselves will climb up it. So, duh. <laughs> My brain wasn't quite thinking about that until we figured it out. So, anyway, um, I think we'll just use the standard bars. Uh, these ones right here. Yeah, those are the railing. I, I think I'd prefer the bars because... Um, you can shoot through them a little uh, more easily. Well, that doesn't really matter, but you, you can see through them a little more easily. And then, uh, so yeah, we're just going to go all the way across like this, three high. And I could, I mean, I guess I could put also a, like a little ridge or a catwalk up above. More to help the, uh, keep the zombies from piling up and jumping over, but... I don't, you know, that's not likely to happen. And then if it, even if it does, we can deal with it. So I don't think I'm going to mess with that. I think we're just going to do the wall just exactly like this, all the way across on all four sides. And then we'll just move our gate. Or I actually, I'll probably install a, a rolling garage door gate because it's way stronger than this chain link thing uh, here in this section. So th this is our entrance right here. Uh, with these guys and everything will be concrete i don't think i'll bother upgrading it to steel because here again you know we we only get we get um screamers and some wandering hordes come through and even if the screamers scream we, we just not going to have any trouble dispatching the zombies so i don't think we need to go batch it crazy and make everything upgraded to steel we could but it's a lot of resources so uh anyway that gives you the basic idea and then once we get the the main wall in place um i'll I'll probably um, destroy, uh, you know, remove the original wall a little bit at a time. I don't think I'm going to do it in one session because that's going to take a little while. Or maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but eventually get that out of the way. And uh, then, you know, then we have defenses because I'm constantly, I, I have not stopped these forges since I put them here. I mean, they've, <laughs> they have run nonstop, literally nonstop. Um, and the cement mixtures and everything. And so, you know, I'm constantly getting screamers and they break into the base. They break into the house, you know, so they've more than once they've completely broken in through here and get into the house and they broke through once right here. And uh, we just, I'm, I'm tired of dealing with it. So we got to get these major defenses in place here, which will hold them at bay much better. Okay. Anyway, um, it is 1900 hours. Uh, so I have made... Uh, a few more grenades, so we have this many grenades, and we also have quite a few uh, pipe bombs as backups in case we do happen to run out of grenades. Let's put these in here. Um, all of those radiators uh, and the iron there was from our salvaging, or most of that iron. Uh, this thing is chocked full. Well, no, it's not chocked full. It's a little over half full of batteries. This thing is damn near charged full of engines. And then uh, we just got stacks and stacks of headlights, uh, full stack and then more of electricals, full stack and then more of mechanicals, bunch of plastic. Uh, doing really good on the parts. Um, it's the springs I, that I really needed, though, of course, to make the grenades and the landmines and whatnot. And I still have quite a bit more of those as well. All right, let's put... 
Um, let's put these uh, away in here. I'm gonna actually take some of these with us for repairing purposes, though. And I'm gonna look in here real quick. I, I'm I'm now going to moving forward be making air filter landmines. You know, I should probably start making a few stacks of contact grenades too for when we're throwing at the zombies outside of the um outside of the pit there. So I'll probably do that. Um you should be making uh, or have already made uh, six of the big stacks of gasoline, so that's good because we were running out of gas. So we'll put that stuff in there. And I want to grab some more pipe bombs too, just in case. Uh, we never did run out of grenades on the last horde night, um, so we probably won't this time either. I've got four boxes now of ammunition just because this week, you know, it just keeps piling up. And uh, what I want to do is just grab a bunch of 7.62s. Let's grab all the 7.62s out of here. Um, you know, so if we need to fall back to the 7.62, of course, we can do that. All right. Let's go take a quick look. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of things here that we just don't need to take with us. We don't need the axe or the pick or the shovel. I guess we'll keep the nail gun. We don't need this. We don't need lock picks for Horde Knight. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We don't need that or that for Horde Knight because we don't melee on the Horde Knight. So we'll put that stuff away. And let's put this in slot number one. And for slot number two... Let's put the snipe. Let's move the sniper rifle to the slot too, because these are. I, I'd like to keep these in their normal position, just because you know muscle memory kind of idea there. And um, I think we're good there. We do want. Uh, let's bring some steel and some iron with us. I don't think we need cobble or clay, but we might need clay to to repair the ground afterwards and some concrete, just so we have some repair materials if we need them. All right, now we're going to run into the house here real quick. And I'm going to put those away. Let's grab a stack of Yucca Juice Smoothie. And I think we're good on food. Yeah, yeah we, got the, we got the tuna fish gravy toast, so we're fine on food. Um, we got five full stacks of major medical kits, so we're good there. Um, I don't have any Atom Junkies, but I don't think we need them. I mean, they, they do help, but, we you know, we don't need any more XP. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with the learning elixir. Learning elixir there's no point. <laughs> um, so, uh, but we do have Recogs, so if, if we start using the, the gun, uh, the guns a lot, we can pop those. So, yeah, I think we're as good as we're going to get here. Let's move... Um, these grenades down to here. Oh, you know what? Damn it. I didn't make any Molotovs. Uh, do I have any Molotovs? Shit. Okay. Can I make those in my own inventory? I think I can. All right. Let's, uh, let's make some because those actually turn out to be really useful and we'll just make them and, and bring them with us. Uh, so we need some oil. We'll grab a stack of oil. Yeah, that would give us 50. And then we also need gasoline. So, I don't know. How many? Can we make 50? Eight. What the hell? Oh, it's the gas. That's right. It takes so much gas to make these. If we open this up. Now, how many can we make? 24. All right, let's... Now, how many can we make? 41. Okay, that's good enough. Put the rest of these back in here. They just kind of, you know, help when the zombies are all spread out and stuff. Okay, let's head on over to the horde base. Everything's all nice and repaired. So we're good to go as far as that is concerned. Uh... 
All right. Let's do this. Let's see uh, see how things go tonight. Um, just for shits and grins, uh, we have 16 points. We'll see how many we get by the end of the night. But again, we don't care because we're not going to actually use them. But we'll do it anyway. Okay, guys. I will see you when the Horde Night starts here in just a few minutes. Okay. It is time for Horde Night 91. Let's see how we do it. Wait for him to to start to congregate. Give him a double here. Eighteen thousand on our first XP. Nice. Get out of here. Get out of here, birds. Once you throw a, an explosive, like a grenade or a pipe bomb, you have to. You can't leave it sitting for too long or it'll disappear, which is bullshit. I wish the game didn't do that. But I guess it's they do that to keep you from exploiting it or something. I don't know. Forty-seven thousand XP. Beautiful. Let's light these guys up down here. The nut, the good thing about when they derp like that, at least they're a lot of times they're just standing there. They're not even trying to damage anything. Just kind of odd behavior. Well, they they are kind of hitting on stuff, so I don't know. <laughs> I found too that it helps, obviously, you know, to kind of move around a little bit to try and get more of them in the pit but it's uh it's really hard to get get them all to come into the pit all the time let's come out here all right we got more birds hear them, but I don't see them. There they are. Come on, zombos. Get in here. Seven thousand there. Got another bird. Okay, that takes care of him. I hate horde knights that throw a ton of birds at you. They're just a pain in the ass. And if you're trying, still trying to get XP, they mess that up a little bit too. Because you got to stop to deal with them instead of blowing up massive, massive amounts of zombos, you know. Ah, uh, but it is what it is. Part of the package. Yeah, see, a lot of those guys are just standing down there. Not, they're not even really damaging anything. Out of here, bird. Let's go out here. Okay, there's 
another bird. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. There he is. Let's get these contact grenades out. Yeah. Definitely need to start using contact grenades for these outside dudes. In fact, they might even be more effective than Molotovs. Look, <laughs> Look at that. Body parts are flying, man. Okay, well, that's it for our contract grenades, but next time we'll have a whole mess of them. And at some point, we're going to have the rocket launcher, too. I mean, we already have it, but it's the... I can't make the ammo for it yet, so... It's very, very expensive to buy. You can use regular grenades, but sometimes, yeah, see, sometimes they bounce off and go down into the pit, and then so much for that idea. Oh, it looks like our, our little robot dude is damaged or something. Just sitting down there. I don't really find that drone to be very useful anyways. It just it gets in the way more than it helps. But, you know, we got it, so I figured we'll do something with it anyway. Light these guys up here. But yeah, the MO is... Blow them up in the pit. Go outside, throw a couple Molotovs, and let them kind of build back up in the pit. And then blow up a uh, 66,000 XP. Nice. And then blow them up in the pit again. Wash, rinse, repeat. You're not allowed inside of here, bird. Gotcha, coppers. <laughs> oh, didn't get that one. Wow, that was funny. That blew me off my feet, but it didn't do any damage to me. Bird. I heard another one. I don't know. He's he's around somewhere. Okay, that takes care of that bird. All right, guys. Well, I think from here on out, we'll just time lapse the rest of the. Good night, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
All right, it's morning, ladies and gentlemen. And time to clean up the rest of these yahoos. Let's get it done. And then we'll see what kind of loot we have. Okay, I think we got the majority of them. And that's it. All right. Pretty smooth horde night. We didn't have any demolishers for the entire night. Um, they still did a pretty good job of damaging stuff up in here, though. We are going to put on our luckies. I don't have any eye candy, but I kind of don't care anymore. <laughs> we got so much stuff. I mean, look at that, though. That's nice. Um, how does that compare to our current one? Ooh, it's better. Okay, so we already got an upgrade. All right, that stuff's pretty good. The usual mining helmet collection. Ooh, nice. Impact driver. I don't know if that one's better than the other one because I don't have it at the moment, but we'll just pick it up and we'll compare it later. Another purple chainsaw. My goodness. Okay, the loot's pretty good, guys. It's pretty darn good. Ooh, that's nice, too. We'll have to compare that to our other one. Damage is about, about the same as it was last time. Nothing. In fact, maybe even a little bit less. It's interesting that they target the blocks down below instead of the ones they're standing on. It's really odd. Okay. Let's drop off a couple things in the bike before we go down. I still do have that drop chest down there too, though. Um, I'm just going to put a bunch of ammo in there. Okay. see what we got down here. There's quite a few bags down here, too. That's nice. Take that for sure. Got a tools digest. Let's read that. Rifles. And we picked up an almanac see anything else in there to read and I think that's it oh wow look at this this is uh, the most damage I've ever seen them do down below here interesting okay well we'll have to make sure we come down here and get this all repaired as well Um, and speaking of which since I do have some materials with me I think I'm going to go ahead and um, do those repairs now, and when I'm done, uh, I will meet you guys. I did bring concrete blocks, right? Yeah. I'll meet you guys. Um, what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is we're going to uh, do treasure maps. we got like four treasure maps to do. We'll get those knocked out. Okay, so I'll see you uh, when I'm ready to do the treasure maps. Oh. For those who might be interested, we got... Oh! It's still 16 points. To, so we, we must have hit some kind of a cap then, I guess. It's interesting, though. Why would we have... Why would it cap out at 16? Why would it not just give us any more points once we have all of them spent? Or do we have them all spent? Pretty sure we do. Let's double check here. Yeah, we have them all spent, so I don't know. I don't know why it, it gives us an additional sixteen, and then after that it stops because we started the night with sixteen. I haven't even really paid attention to it after we spent all of our perks, you know, because there was no reason to. Uh, interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess that's the way it works in Alpha Twenty One. And maybe it worked that way before. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've played this game long enough to get completely maxed out on points. 
So anyway, I'll meet you guys over at our first treasure here in just a little bit. Okay, we are at our first treasure. Let's um let's get the lucky zone too and see what we get. Okay, a bunch of ammo and a couple other things. Nothing too phantasmagorical, but it's decent, I guess. Let's go check the next one. Oh, about the same as the last one, give or take. Next one is, uh, they're both the same direction away. So I guess it doesn't matter. We'll do this one next. There we go for the third one. And the final treasure is two clicks that way, that way. Um, there is also, now that I think about it, an airdrop that's really close to the house that we should uh, grab too. Then I've got probably at least a half a dozen other airdrops scattered all over the place that I haven't even bothered to go after. But sometimes we, you know, we just kind of randomly run across them. And uh, speaking of which, let me see where we are on the map. Now, this was the, the one that was really close, I think. So, yeah, this is just a one we never mark at all. Are we hungry? Eh, a little bit hungry. We got a steel armor bundle and some crafting skill magazines. Let's take a look at these first. We got two fisticuffs, uh, iron knuckles quality three. We got two salvage tools. We can now make the a blue impact driver and a couple of rifles. Uh, the other thing too is that we are on vehicles. We're 89 out of 100, so we just need 11 more vehicles, and then we can make all the aircraft, um, which will be cool. And we have um, the parts for the smaller chopper already. Um, okay, so anyway, let's continue on here. We'll open the... Well, how much room do I have? Yeah, we have room to open this. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully it's purple. Nope, it's all yellow. Okay, well, we'll... Oh, we're done with the armor. I didn't even realize that. Shotguns, armor. Yep, we're completely done with armor. Nice. Okay. So we can make military fiber, I guess. Nice. Not that it matters because, um, you know, we already have purple. Well, we have a full set of purple steel armor for sure. I don't know if we have a full set of purple military armor, though. And that's what we get. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Let's go see if we can find um, a couple of these other airdrops that are floating around on the map here. So we'll start with, yeah, let's go this direction and see if we can find that one first. I was going to tell you guys, I think all my NPCs got killed. Okay, this is the general vicinity that I, that I thought another airdrop would be in. Um, I think they're all 
all got killed because I don't know where they are. I, the last time I saw them, they were at the base. And, you know, the last few times I've gone back to the base, it's been overrun by a bunch of zombos. So the only thing I can think of is that, that they were killed killed off by those zombies. Which kind of sucks. Oh, this is a pretty good sized... Oh, there it is. Pretty good sized lake here. Look at this place. Get out of here. Yeah, nice lake. So nice that we can swim a little bit faster in water now. Okay, melee mods, bundle, crafting skill, magazines. Let's read that. And we'll open this. We have two, what are those, shotguns? Yeah. Two sledgehammers and two fisticuffs. What's in here? Okay, just some melee mods. Let's go to the map here, and we're going to remove... Uh, this, and then the next drop, hmm. I thought I marked something really close to our base, oh wait, no, that's not our base, that's the command, command center, gotcha, okay, uh, let's see if we can find this one next, because I think this is the one that is really close to the base. Okay, so somewhere around in here. Yep, there it is, right there. Another armor bundle. And let's see, what do we have in here? Oh, nice. Okay, so we got a purple military vest out of that deal. We'll take that. And let's open this up. Two more vehicles. Very good. Two spears and two sledgehammers. Okay, so that should put us nine away from maxing out vehicles now. Yep, 91 out of 100. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so there was one more spot here uh, that I, we could potentially have a drop. That one's going to be up in the some rugged terrain, but we got our dirt bike, so we should be fine. Let's go see if we can find that. Well, actually, the problem, though, with the terrain, we'll, we'll go look. But it makes it a lot harder to spot the the drop because of the, of the terrain. And you have to be pretty close to see the orange smoke. But we'll we'll pop up there and just see. Maybe we'll we'll luck out and find it. It'll be a lot easier for us to locate the drops in the rugged train once we have an aircraft. Yeah, I'm just not spotting anything. So we'll save this one um, for when we do have an aircraft and then we can see if we can locate it that way. Okay, we have a ton of stuff to sell. So I've got everything that's in here and all of this. Uh, so we might actually do that perhaps in the next episode just because I need to get... I'm going to run out of room uh, with all this stuff. I do want to double check the military gear though and see... Uh, let's put about half of that coin in there. And see how it compares, you know, to what we currently have. We're about full up on mods, too. So, but, you know, these will, like before, we'll add to the stuff that we sell to increase their value. So I'm just going to put the extra mods in here for now. And I'll sort all that stuff out later. 
put those back on. All right, so let's go into here. And oh yeah, so this is definitely an improvement over that. So we'll we'll sell this piece. We currently have a blue military, but the new blue military is just one tenth of a percent better, and it's fully repaired. Uh, looks like that's going to be better than the greenies. Uh, and probably these blue ones are better than the pantalones. Um, probably not. These are probably not better than those, though. Okay, so we'll keep those. So good. Four out of five of those armor pieces, uh, military armor pieces, rather, were definitely upgrades for us, which is a beautiful thing. So I'm going to need to make a whole mess of glue to make a whole mess of repair kits. Um, let's go ahead and see how much water we have. I think I have a, a, a really, oh, I must have recently emptied those. This, I think this thing's actually chocked full now that I think about it. Yeah, it is. Okay. So let's just take all of that. And I still have a little bit of water in there. So we're just going to make as much glue as we can. So we'll grab all the bones that we have. Let's put a bunch of wood in here. I don't know how much it's going to actually want. 120 glue, nine and a half minutes. Uh, so there we go. Okay, cool. We'll put these bones back in here. The grass can go in there. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to spend the rest of today and overnight uh, working on our new defenses here. And uh, I already I showed you at the beginning of this episode what those are going to look like. Uh, we're just basically we're just going to use bars. Uh, but what I will do is at intervals along the way, I'll put um, I'll probably put like solid posts up. Or something, I don't know. Um, and put ladders there just so we can quickly get over the wall. Uh, well, actually, can can I just jump this with my parkour? Oh, well, screw that. We don't need ladders at all. <laughs> parkour is such a beautiful thing. Okay, forget that. Yeah, we're so it's just going to be bars all the way down, um, all the way around. And um, I might, I might actually go ahead and upgrade the second bar to steel because that's when they hit on the most. I don't know. We'll see. I, I won't do that. Uh, I, I'll get the concrete done first for sure. And then I'm probably going to eventually get all this stuff torn out. But this is going to be a bit of a job. I mean, you know, it's going to take me four hits per just to break that stuff. And I don't know if the auger would be quicker or not. This is actual concrete. So that's going to take a little while. Uh, definitely we can do it, but take a bit. Um, and yeah, we'll work on that. And then I think the plan for the next episode is that we'll, we'll go ahead and do another big, um, selling spree and just get a, a big, huge pile of Dukes. And that could still be valuable to us because, you know, the traders may, uh, you know, have an end game vehicle for sale that we can buy outright rather than building it. And I'm fine either way, because what else are we going to do with all this money? Otherwise it's just going to pile up and. We have nothing to spend it on. I suppose I could also start spending it on, you know, rocket launcher ammo too, um, just for something to spend it on. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share all the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.